Looking at our page, notice that we have what should be a list in the gift baskets for area. But instead of having a list, we have a line of text mashed up together. We can fix this with a list. Lists are supported by all HTML versions, all the way back to version 2. We can make an ordered list that numbers our items, or an unordered list that uses bullets. Let's make one that uses bullets, an unordered list. We'll toggle back to the HTML document by pressing Alt and Tab. Now let's start our list. We'll begin by placing the cursor right before the G in Gift Baskets 4. And add space here by pressing Enter. This will give us some more room to see what's going on in the document, and this is where we'll begin the tags for the list. Here we see how the arguments for an unordered list work. We begin by letting the browser know, hey, we want an unordered list here. That's what the UL code at the top is. After that, we begin by addressing each item on our list. We enter the tag for a list item, then our text. When we've entered all the items in this manner, we use the closing tag for an unordered list. Now we see how it appears on the page. When we have an unordered list, the browser will add bullets preceding the items. Now we see how the arguments for an ordered list work. As with the unordered list, we begin with the opening tag for the list, which is OL for an ordered list. Then we enter each item after the LI or list item tag. Now we see how the arguments are interpreted in numerical order. Now look at the third item. It includes the attribute value. By using this attribute as it is shown here, we can use any number we want. Notice the third item is ordered as 5. When all items have been entered, we finish with the closing tag for an ordered list. Let's create an unordered list here so we have bullets. We begin by entering the opening tag for an unordered list, the UL tag. It's the left angle bracket, the letters U and L for unordered list, then the right angle bracket. Now we can indicate the list items. So place the cursor in front of the word wedding. Now enter the tag for this first list item using the LI tag. It's the left angle bracket, the letters L and I for list items, then the right angle bracket. Keep in mind that we don't need to enter in a closing tag for this. Now it's important that we indicate each item in the list. So we need to place the cursor in front of the next item now and mark it as an item too. With the cursor before anniversaries, we need to type in another list item tag. Move to the third item, graduations, and enter another LI tag. We'll keep doing this for the next two items, so place the cursor before Mother's Day and enter a list item tag. Then place the cursor before the last item, birthdays, and enter a list item tag here, too. Once we've marked each list item, we can close the list using the closing tag for this unordered list. Place the cursor on the next line, press enter to add in a blank line if necessary, and enter the closing tag for this unordered list. It's a left angle bracket, a forward slash, then U and L for unordered list, and finally the right angle bracket. Ready to see it? Well then, let's save our work. Then toggle to the browser window, and refresh. Now this is a great improvement, and we've just made our first list. As we look at a list, we may decide that we want to use numbers instead of bullets, or vice versa. This is a really simple change to make. First, we'll toggle to the HTML document we have going. Now we need to replace the tags for unordered list with the tags for ordered list. So go to the opening tag for unordered list and replace it with the OL for ordered list. 
Now go to the closing tag for unordered list and replace the UL there with OL for ordered list. Now save this page. Then toggle to the browser window and refresh the page. Notice that the list we made is now numbered. But let's ask another question. Can we specify which numbers we want to use? You betcha. All we need to do is incorporate the value attribute to the list item tag. Let's alt tab to the HTML document so we can try this out. Now we'll change a number. Just click inside the first LI tag. Enter a space after it to show we're adding an attribute. Then type value, an equal sign, then a number we want to use in quotation marks. Let's enter number 7. Now save. With our work saved, we can toggle to the browser and see how this looks. Just remember to refresh the page first. Notice that the ordered list now starts with a value of 7, then continues with 8, and so on.